So, told you all this stuff, what submission, what submission looks like in a, in a marriage, you know, who do you, when, is not, when submission is not good, why you shouldn't submit when you shouldn't submit. Now I'm going to tell you how to submit to your husband. You have to allow your husband to lead without an attitude. You got to let him lead. You can't be leading hoping that he fails. You got to let your husband lead. Give your all to the decisions that he makes. And pray for, the, for it not to fail. And don't celebrate when it fails. Because he is going to fail sometimes. Don't celebrate. Because if he fails, you fail. Marriage is the only game in life where if one partner fails, the other fails. It's either we both win or we both lose. So you got to get on board even if you don't feel it. You have to say, listen, I'm not going to follow my feelings. My feelings are going to have to follow my action. Because you know what they say? Right feelings follow right actions. So if you don't feel it, Act and do the right thing and let your feelings follow your right actions. <laughs> Encourage him in his leadership role as a leader of the home. Encourage him. He needs encouragement. He gets discouraged. I am glad that I am not a man. I'm so grateful that God made me the woman and not the man. I really am because it is not easy, especially if you're trying to do it right. It's, it takes everything to stay. It takes nothing to leave. Leaving is easy. You just pack your things. Sometimes you don't even pack. You just leave when you figure out what to do with your clothes. Sometimes it's like that. But when you have to stay and work it out, that's what we're talking about. It's when I decide I'm not going to stay. I'm in this. And when I don't feel like it, I am committed to the covenant. Because sometimes you don't feel committed to the person. But if you keep that covenant, you all say it's just a piece of paper. It is not just a piece of paper. It is a covenant before God. And when nothing you want to, you got to look at that paper again. You got to look at that paper again. Encourage him in his leadership role. Right? Let him know how proud you are of him and the decisions that he makes. He's not going to make every decision right. He's going to make some wrong. You still got to be proud of him. Let him encourage, extend grace to him when he fails. Let him know you still believe in him. He's still your guy. Make your husband feel like he's in charge. You got to stroke his ego. God gave him that ego and it's very fragile. You got to handle it with TLC. You got to take care. That's your man. This is your choice. You chose him. Take good care of his ego. So he comes home every day excited. These are, these are real true things that we need to, to, you know, we got to govern our lives to do these things. Make him feel like he's your hero always. Always. You know, I have this picture and I brought it up to show you all. Picture in my office. See? Can you all see? See this? My hero. I don't know Denzel. <laughs> Denzel doesn't know me. But guess what? He knows my name. <laughs> he knows my name. This is my hero right here, y'all. If I had time, I'd tell you why I believe that this man is my hero. And I don't play. This is it. And if you come into my office, you're going to see this every time. Because, listen, the guy, your husband, is your hero. You ought to make him feel it. Don't tell your friend. Tell him. Make him feel like that. Admire him. Men love affirmation. Affirm him all the time. Oh, baby, I can't believe you did that for me. You know, talk to him nice. My husband says, honey, I want to fix this. Can you just stand and watch me while I fix it? <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, but I'm like. <laughs> it didn't, did it cost me? It didn't cost me a thing. All it did was a smile. <laughs> and guess what? I can get anything I want. Y'all, listen. 
Listen, wives. Y'all gotta be, we gotta be wise. We gotta be wise. Eve got Adam to eat the fruit. We gotta be wise. I remember um, Joyce Myers said that she was, she wanted to go every, every, ab, every Sunday after church, she'd wanna go visit her mom. And she wanna go, and she's like, we're gonna go, I wanna go, I wanna go to my mom. And they would go, but she says, after a while, her husband got just, he didn't wanna go anymore. She's like, why every Sunday we gotta go to your mom? I don't wanna do that. I wanna just go and watch the game. I wanna put my foot up. I wanna spend time with my family. I do not wanna do this. And she said that one day, as she was praying, she said, the Lord told her, why don't you just change your attitude and make him feel like it's his idea for you to go to your mom? <laughs> so you know what she did? She did that. She says, I know you want to watch the game. And I'll watch the game with you. And maybe if you feel like it, you maybe want to go see my mom. She said, he said, sure. And they went to see her mom every Sunday after that, and she never had to ask him anymore. Because why? She made him think it was, it was his idea. <laughs> we got to be wise, wives. We got to be wise. And I need to go, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So respect him. Respect is everything. Respect him. Bishop, respect is like his food. So I'm, I'm always apologizing because you know, I get a little mouthy sometimes. Y'all pray for Pastor Sherry. And so I'm always in trouble, so I got to be like, I'm always apologizing. Right. Don't nag. Can I say that big? If I had, I would just write it big. Do not nag. The Bible says it's better for you to go on a rooftop. Go out there with the birds. Let them poop all over you. Than for you to stay in the house with a nagging woman. It's like a dripping faucet that never stops. Stop nagging your husbands, ladies. It's not working. You are driving him away. Be nice, be kind. I know it's not nice. I know you can't be kind all the time. I know. But sometimes you got to zip your lip and just smile. Smile. And then sometimes you just got to go, ba 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 shi tara ba sa ka tara ba 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 sha. You know, you got to get it, you, you, you got to find somewhere to express it, right? But don't nag. Don't nag your husbands. Okay? And one last thing, there's a whole lot long list, but I'm just going to give you these. But don't withhold intercourse. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do not withhold intercourse. I'm saying intercourse because I'm hoping that some kids has no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, 1 Corinthians 7 and 3 says, the husband should fulfill his marital duties to his wife and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body but yields to his wife. Do not use it as a weapon you mad. Well, get over it. Get over it. And there was silence in heaven. <laughs> I am just going to move on. Praise the Lord. 